Good afternoon everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Tracker by Wuschel. Um, this is a puzzle that was submitted to me and went through testing and this one has been a bit polarizing. No, it's not an odd even puzzle to the best of my knowledge. Uh, I don't know much about this one at all. Um, but the testers were like, ooh, this one is both nasty and good and I don't know whether it's suitable and yeah, um, this one is... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this one to see basically what I can come up with. Um, what else is going on? It, so there's been a lot of negative comments about my solving recently um, and about how can a Sudoku professional take so long. First of all, I, I'm not sure where the Sudoku professional bit came from. Um, I don't think I've ever claimed to be a Sudoku professional. Um, and um, the the concept of what I try and do with my channel is share what I enjoy. I enjoy solving certain types of puzzles and I like sharing the things that I learn with people. Um, I came to this from being a board game teacher when I had to stop basically all of my board gaming during COVID. Um, and when I went to board gaming events and everything, the thing I enjoyed doing wasn't sort of sitting down at a table with people and playing competitively to win and what I enjoyed doing was teaching other people how to play the games that I loved um, and not showing them like all of the tricks and everything although that's what I do with puzzles but sharing with them the you know how the mechanics worked and everything so they could then discover it on their own now that's not how doing the Sudoku channel works with the Sudoku channel what I do is I try and share the tricks but um and and show the solve but what I'm really trying to do is show the logic that can be found more than show how cool I am and to beat anyone. I'm not a competitive, overly competitive person um, with uh, over on Bremster Games. I don't play competitively. There are ladders and everything in the games that I play. I do not do that. I will actively avoid those styles of play. And it's kind of the same here. I don't play do Sudoku to beat anyone. I'm not trying to do a fast time. I will absolutely prefer to sit down and spend 25 minutes on a puzzle and go, oh, that was cool cool, I like that. How could that have been discovered a different way? Or how could I have, uh, and savor a deduction and, and sort of explore it um, rather than sit there and go, okay, I've got that, what's next? Um, I'm not interested in like seeing something and then moving it away from it. When I go to an art gallery, my goal isn't to walk in and go, well, there's a painting and there's a painting and that's pretty tree and everything and get through it as fast as possible. I like sitting down and savoring it. When I sit to go to a restaurant, I'm not someone who like tries to get through my meal so I can get out and do the next thing. I'm someone who likes to sit there and in, like I'll, I'll sit there and I'll savor the smells and I'll enjoy watching what's going on around me and everything. I'm the same with everything. I'm not a racer. I, 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 I don't get rushing through stuff. And I'm going to be the same. This is the way I solve. So it's going to be the same when I'm solving puzzles on channel. It just is. So if you're trying to say, why am I so slow? I'm just solving at the pace I enjoy solving. That's what I'm doing. Um, could I be faster? Probably, but I'm also explaining and I'm trying to get joy out of it and I'm trying to remember all of the elements of doing a record and everything. There's so much going on. If people want to, if you don't enjoy the way I solve, please, there's lots of other channels. I linked a couple of days ago on a video to like 10 or so other channels which do Sudoku solves. Go check them out. Find a solver that is better for you. I'm going to continue to have fun with what I do. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's have a look at Tracker by Wuschel. Um, so um, I, this one's come in and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave this one. The, this came in with a custom link uh, and I'm going to keep it as is. Um, Sudoku Pad now has the ability to create custom links in Sudoku Pad. I'm hoping this has the solution embedded. Um, the rules are not in the format that I'm a huge fan of, but uh, it's all fine. We'll see how this goes. So normal Sudoku rules um, are in place. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have ratio pairs. And what that means is cells separated by a black dot are in uh, one is double the other or one to two ratio. Um, not all dots are necessarily given. Um, there's no consecutive constraint in here at all. Um, well, there, there actually is, but we'll get to that in a minute. Region sum lines. Um, 
So some lines, what that means is on the thinner blue lines, um, sum to the same total for each box the blue line enters. So these two cells will have the same line as these three cells. These two cells will have the same sum as those four cells. These three cells will have the same sum as those two cells. And it's the same on all the blue lines. We have Renban. Digits on the thicker purple lines form a set of consecutive non-repeating digits. So basically, whatever digits go on these um, these lines will be a set of consecutive non-repeating digits. So um, if one of them was a one, then the others would have to be two, three, four, because all of the digits must be consecutive. Then we've got a constraint that I've never done before, which is the NABNA lines. NABNA is Renban backwards, and basically what it means is no two digits anywhere on the line may be consecutive. Um, which means that, for example, if I was to put a 2 here, I could not put a 1 or a 3 anywhere on this line, because that would cause there to be two consecutive digits. Um, never done NABNA before. Um, that's what we've got. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. I'm getting graphic glitches. Um, the restart has popped up on, um, I can see it on OBS, but I could not see it on my screen. <laughs> That's a bit of a worry. Um, let's give this a shot. So, where do I start this puzzle? This is a run of consecutive digits. This is a run of consecutive digits. Does that tell me anything about that? Not really. This box has, oh man, this is rendering terribly. Um, I'm wondering if there's there's been a new Chrome update and I'm wondering if it's interfering badly with um, OBS. I'm hoping that's not the case. Otherwise, this is going to be a terrible solve. Um, so this box is fully is full of lines. No two digits on this line can be consecutive, no, and all of these are consecutive. Does that matter? But this could be like seven, eight, nine, and this could be one, three, five, or two, four, six. I don't think it actually tells me anything. And this could be one, two, three, and then this could be four, six, eight, or five, seven, nine. If these were all extreme, then these would be. But even then, if these are that's that's if they're, they're extreme, and if they're not extreme, that opens more up because if this is two, three, four, for example, I could put one on this, and then I could put five, nine, five, eight, five, seven. So, yeah. All of this row is filled by some line. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That is interesting to me. I'm going to highlight that in gray. Because I know the sum of those digits because an entire row of a Sudoku sums to 45. So those two lines sum to somewhere between 46 and 54. Remember how I said this wasn't a parody puzzle? I think I was wrong. Because whether this, okay, I am going to play with those cells, but if this is all odd, this, it, so if these have an odd sum, these would have an odd sum and the sum of that would be even. If these were all even, these, if the sum of these was even, the sum of these would be even and all of these would be even. So all of those, I'm not talking about individual cells, that section there has an even total. So this section here has an odd total. If this was even, these would sum to an even total. But this has to sum to odd. Now, that's not the way to think about it. 
If this is odd, if this is odd, to maintain odd, these are even. If this is odd, to maintain odd, these are even, and the total of this has to be odd. Therefore, this would be, uh, sorry, to maintain the total, this is an even total, so this would have to be an even total, and this would be odd and odd. If this is even, this would be an odd total, and to maintain the parity of this line, this would be even and odd. Whichever way you go, that is odd. But this could be either, and these could be either. I do know the sum of those is even. But this is an odd digit, and that's an odd digit on a black dot. So it's one or three. That's nuts. Right. So the reason that is, is because on a black dot, the only option, you can't have high odd digits because there are only four possibilities. So each digit must be either low or even because one doubles to two, two doubles to four, three doubles to six, four doubles to eight. So the second digit I mentioned there was always even. When I get to five, the next odd digit, it doubles to 10, which doesn't work. So this is either two or six because one can only double to two and three can only double to six. So does that do something in this box? I was saying, if, if this is six, seven, eight, that allows all freedom here. And if this is two, three, four, I could put one with anything on this and that allows all the freedom in the world. If this is two, three, four, the minimum here would be one, five, and six. And that doesn't work. If this is one, this becomes two, three, four, because it's a Renban and would need to have, so it's the, it's all of this in combo. If this is one, this is two, three, four. So these would be two, three, and four. The minimum I could put here now would be one, five, and six, because I can't use two, three, and four. So the minimum here is 12, but I've put a one here, which means that would have to be 11, which doesn't work. So that doesn't work. This can't be a one. This is a three. This is a six. What does that do? So these are from four, five, seven, eight. So why did I put a six? Four, five, seven, eight. Because they're four, five, six, five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight. Does that do anything to this? Oh, it's the first thing I mentioned. What now goes on this line? I can't use one, two, three. I can't use two, three, four. I can't use three, four, five. I can't use four, five, six. I can't use five, six, seven. I can't use six, seven, eight. The last thing is seven, eight, nine. That's seven, eight, nine. There's no seven, eight on there. So this is a one, two pair. That's crazy. So now what can go on here? I can't use, these are all middle digits, which is not something I thought about. So the digits I've got left, I'm, I'm going to pick, I'm just going to use these digits down here. I'm just going to use the bottom row. The digits I've got left are one, two, three, and seven, eight, nine. But I can't use, I have to use, 
I can't use one, two, three on this line because then I've got consecutive and I can't use seven, eight, nine. So I've got to use one of one and two of the other, because if I use one, if I use, this puzzle is going to take me forever. Um, it's a prime example of how am I so slow? I've not done this before and I'm really struggling. If I use two of one, I can't use three of one. And the minute I only use one of one, I'm using two of the other. So it's two of one and one of the other. Just by definition. Right. And I'm sure if I was doing this without trying to explain it, I'd be faster as well. But anyway, so it's two of one and one of the other, which means this is two of one of one and the other. But this can't be two high digits, because if this is two high digits, the minimum it could be is seven and eight. And before I even add the third digit, this would have to be a 12. So there's two high digits down here. And I have, they have to be two high digits that are not consecutive. So there's a seven, nine down here and an eight up here. Okay. Can I do more than that? Well, this is an eight. So what can this sum to? This is an eight with two of one, two, and three. So this is from one, two, three, and eight. Now, if this was the maximum I can put here, Well, wait a minute. If this is 832, this would have to be a 10. So there is a 1 on this. If this is 81, if this is 813, then this is a 9. If this is 812, this is an 8, and that doesn't work. This is 813. This is 138, and this is 279. That's cool. And this being 138 means this is a 9. Now I can figure out the sum of this. So, because remember this whole line is 45. The whole, the sum of everything now is 48 because it's 45 plus 3. But, these are 12 plus 9 is 21. These sum to 24. So this has to sum to 12. Well, I can't use 9, 3. I can't use 8, 4. So this is 7, 5. And these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 2, 4, and 6 does sum to 12. So I know what these are. These are 1, 2, 3, for five, these are one, three, five, and these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, six, and eight. Is that correct? I think it's correct. So what comes next? I can't see anything more I can do in the top three rows. I'm amazed I didn't start by putting this in because the minimum I can put here is one, two, and three, which is still possible, meaning this is at least six, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this has to be at least one, two, three, four. So these have to sum to at least 10. But if this is 4, this is a maximum of 6. I can't put 6 in 4. So even if this is 6, this is a maximum of 8. This is the 8. This is a 2. This is a 1. And there's no 
eight here. That's really cool. And these are one, two, three, four. There's no one here. There's no two in any of those. This is the two. That's cool. This is a one, three, four. Okay. And there is a two down here somewhere. There's also a one down here somewhere. There's a three down here. These are from five, six, seven, and nine, and they must contain six and nine. Nine is on this line? Yeah, nine is on this line. Because nine can't go here or in any of those. But that doesn't impact that at all. I'm hoping this isn't some weird region, some trick, because I'm always bad at them. Here's a Nebna trick. This can't be a nine. If this is a nine, this is nine, eight, seven. And if this is nine, eight, seven, this becomes five, six, and I can't put five, six together. So this is not a nine. There is a nine on this line as well as a nine on this line. But extreme digits are the worst things you can get on forced onto a three cell Nebna line because they just work. So this line can't contain a five because it's got four or six on it. So this is from six, seven, eight, nine. Because I can't put a five, I can't use one, two, three, four. I can't use five because it's consecutive with four or six. So it's six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, and that's it. If this is six, I can't put six or seven down here. And that would leave these being eight or eight and nine, and eight and nine are consecutive. This is not six, this is four, this is six. Which has done almost nothing. Four is down here. Which means four is down here. Three or four needs to be on this line. So if this was three, it's three, four, five. And it can't be, no, hey, wait, I've, how did I get that so fundamentally wrong? This is one, two, four. Why did I put four down there after putting four there? What is wrong with me? This is one, two, four. So there's no four on this line. So how would I get from three to five? This is the three. That's what I meant to do. And I know what these digits are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, seven, and eight. So seven and eight come out of there. This is a six and a nine. And these are five, seven, eight. And they must contain an eight. So there must be an eight on this. So how do I connect eight? Seven, I can't use a nine, so this is eight, seven, six. So this is the six, this is the eight, seven. And there's no six or seven here, this is a five, nine. Which allows that to be all sorts of stuff. But the five looks up making that seven and that five. So what can this be now? Actually, it is quite restricted. This is only one or two. Because it can't be three. It can't be four because it'd be consecutive with five. It can't be five. 
It can't because it's on a black dot. It can't be six because it'd be consecutive with five. It can't be seven because it's on a black dot. It can't be eight. It'd be consecutive with nine. This is one or two. And it's not one because one would force this to be two. And it's not. This is two. That's nuts. And this is one or four. <laughs> this keeps on giving. It's not one because if it's one, this line is one, two, three. And I can't put two anywhere on this line. This is a four. So this up here is a six. There's no four there either. There's no two there. This line has to have a seven on it. And once it's got a seven on it, it must have a six. Because even nine, eight, seven, six must have a six on it. So there is a six on this line. And I can't put a six in any of those cells because of these sixes. And if there's a five on it, then the other set, there must be a high digit. If this is eight, seven, then it's nine, eight, seven, six needs a six even if I put a nine on it. And if there's a five and a seven or a five and an eight on it, I still need a six. That's a six. So what is... And there's no four because of that four. So five, six, seven, eight. So five, seven, eight, or... So this is five, seven, eight, or nine because I can't go down. But this is not a six anymore. This is from 1248. I may as well pencil mark that, but I don't know how it helps me. This is not a 7. If this was a 7, this would have to be 124, which would leave this being just an 8. This is not a 7 anymore. This is an 8 or a 9. Can I go up here? So those are from, they can't be two, three, four, because I can't put a two on the line. So they're either three, four, five, or four, five, six. I can't put three there. I can't put six there. But there must be a five on this line, which means that's not a five. But I could go three, four, five, or four, five, six. These two lines have to sum to at least 15 because one, two, three, four, five. But this and this have a maximum of 18. Because two, three, four is the maximum I could put here and nine is the maximum I could put here. Is that it? So I could just never put a nine on any of those lines. But there's a six on this line. Look at these two sixes. There is a six on this line. So this is one, two, six. It's six plus the other two smallest digits, making this a nine, which means there's no nine here. This is five, seven, eight. This takes one and two off this. This is four, eight, which means this is five and this is four. The one, two comes off, one and, sorry, the one and the eight come off this, making this the three. And there's no two, or nine here, that's the seven. That's glorious. Now this is under more pressure. There's no eight here. So the eight is in one of those two, so it's not there. These are the same digit, basically. But 
But these now have a minimum of th they're three, four, three, five, or four, five. I can't put a seven on it, I don't think. Yes. So these are from three, four, and five. Because I can't use a six, and if I put a seven on it, I would need a one or a two. So these are from three, four, and five. And that's not a four. This is going to be a region some trick. I don't know. But seven, eight, and nine have to go in those. I can only put one of seven, eight down there. Hang on, I have to put a four on here. Because if this is one, two, three, this is have to sum to six, and I can't do three, three. Once the one and two are gone, that's not available. So there's a four in here, and there's no four here. Now, if this is one, three, four, this is eight, which is three, five, in either order. And if this is one, two, sorry, two, three, four, then this is nine, which is four, five specifically. That's got me nowhere. Except, maybe it has. Because these can't sum to seven. So there is a five on this. So this is nine and this is five. So this is six and this is five. So this is seven, taking seven off this remband. This is the five, eight, this is the seven. This five makes this the eight and this the five. This is now a one or a three. This is beautiful, by the way. I just... There's no two here. There's no six here. Oh, this is a one because there's, it sees two and six. So this is the two. This is the six. The two makes this the one. There is no one in either of these. So this is the four. This is the two. These sum to nine. So they are four and five. I take three off them. This is the five. This is the four. Seven is in one of those two. Three is in one of those two. I don't think I get any further because the other two digits are eight and nine, which are not restricted. What are these digits? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, without that being seven. This has glorious flow to it. That was beautiful. This was nicer. And this line, just stunning. Please don't fail me now. This can't be a nine, surely, because the minimum I can put here is one, three. Actually, what is on this row? This is one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if I make this, if I put either a seven or an eight on this, then the minimum it would be is 15 in two cells plus one is 16. I can't do that with two cells where one, the maximum is three. So there's no seven, eight here. This is a one, three pair, which means there's no one, three here. That gives me a one, three pair in this column, but this is four. So this is four plus this. If this is a one, even four plus seven is 11. This would be have to be 11. So this is a three, which means this is a one and I can take one out of those. Now, I've still got four plus seven would be three and eight. Four plus eight would be three and nine. Four plus nine would be three and 10. That doesn't work. So this is not. And there's an eight in one of these because it's four and eight to nine or four to seven and eight. There's an eight in one of those two. So that is not an eight. But I know what these are now. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, and nine. And there's no four there. There's no five there. Because of those. Oh, this is a six by Sudoku. This six and this six have to go somewhere in here. And now that I've figured that out, that's a six, which means this is a nine and this is a six. Oh, this has not done any of this yet. I'm worried. This is a seven, eight, nine triple. So that's not a nine. Oh, the three makes that one and that three. The three also looks up, meaning the one and the three look up, making that the five. The five looks down, making that four, which makes that nine and that five. The four looks up, making that two and that four. And now I'm stuck with my seven, eight, nine triple. But this three looks up, making this one and this three. This nine looks up, taking nine out of there. This is stunning. This is now three, seven, eight. Yeah, nine has to be in one of those two. This is three, seven, eight. There's no seven there. So one is in one of, oh, no, that's not it. Maybe it is. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, seven, eight in there. Well, there's no seven there. So this is two or eight. So in here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, seven, eight. And this is, again, not... So there must be an eight on this line, because if there's no eight on this line... Yeah, there must be an eight, because if there's no eight, this is one, two, and that's not allowed. There must be an eight on this line, which means this is four, this is eight. There's no eight down here, which makes that the nine, which by math makes that the eight, which makes that the seven, which makes that the eight, which makes that the seven. This is not the seven. This is the seven, which gives makes this a three, eight pair. Sorry, this a three, eight pair, which makes that the nine. The nine looks, oh, makes that the two and that. Talk about a roll on effect. This little line has rolled all the way around the grid. This four looks back, making this the three and this the four. This seven looks up, making this the one and this the eight. So this is the two and this is the seven. I've got a seven and an eight here. So that becomes the nine. That becomes the seven. That oh, Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. These are now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This five makes this the one and this the five. The one looks up making this eight, this the one. The eight looks down making this the three and this the eight. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll use that two to make that three and that two. And that's the correct solution to Tracker by Wushal. Only seven solves in 8.7 days. I wonder if actually this has been released anywhere else. I'm not sure. Or if this has come to... I've had a few set... I'm not saying that this is what Wushal has done or anything, but I've had a few setters recently who said they've created puzzles exclusively for my channel. And that's such a wonderful feeling for me. Um, and really, really cool. Um, it's not required. I, I do a lot of puzzles that have been released elsewhere, and that's fine. Um, a lot of puzzles come in as recommendations, but that's a very small number of solves on this puzzles. And I know this got tested by a few of my testers. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But that is a stunningly cool puzzle. Um, don't know if I would call it easy, that break-in deduction. Um, yeah, that was tricky. And but after that, the like the stuff down here on this arrow, which took me a while to see, was absolutely beautiful. And then just these little lines doing beautiful pressure. Um, this is a puzzle I would recommend to CTC. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, this is the sort of thing that I think is where they're looking for something that is a little bit, you know, easier, more welcoming to people. This might be it. I think this is a great puzzle. Um, then again. It's here. 
I wish more people would find my channel. Um, I think I do good things. Not everyone agrees. We'll see. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, I, I hope you gave this one a shot. This was absolutely stunning. Um, yeah. Thank yeah, well, I just spend a lot of time thanking people because I feel I feel so welcome in this community most of the time. Um, and um, yeah, I, I just I'm just happy to be here. That that's that's the thing. I'm happy to be here. Thanks everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.